Hey guys, this is Anthony Tejada, your local Orlando realtor, and today we are here in the Reserve of Twin Lakes by Jones Homes. It's a brand new community, and they allowed us to film this gorgeous home, which is the Torrey Pines 2, and it's a four bedroom, four bathroom, with a study and a loft, has a covered patio lanai, two car garage, as you can see on the side, right? It is a two story home, obviously, with a balcony out front, an upstairs master bedroom suite, 34, 37 square feet, Base price at the time of the video starts at 670, $671,990, but the way the home sits right now at time of video is around $950,000 to a million with all the upgrades you're about to see. So stay tuned, but before you start, press the subscribe and alert buttons down below because it truly does help our channel, and let's move into this home. All right, guys, so as you can see, here we are at the Torrey Pines at the reserve at Twin Lakes, and you can tell this is the four bedroom, loft, study, four bathroom, two car garage, as I said earlier. But this right here, it will be the model office, but there will be your garage, your side garage right here. So it's the side entry. That's why the driveway is so big, right? But let's head into the house. But before we head in, two windows for the, for the uh, office flex space here. But I love that balcony above so you can see everything that's happening in the front of the home. And here's our double door entry with our foyer right here. Guys, so as you can see, this is a highly upgraded model. I love what they did with the place. First, as soon as you enter the home, you have two windows for natural lighting. I love the feature wall that they did in stone. Gorgeous, with the chandelier above the foyer, and that woodwork, incredible. Now, there is a side pocket here for your office flex space with the barnyard door but we're not gonna go through there. All right, now as you leave the foyer area, we get into the family gathering room area here. Very gorgeous, love it. The whole home opens all the way up, right? Go ahead, Pam. I just have to say this is very impressive. Yeah, I love it. And look, instead of a fan, they went with chandelier. So that's awesome. But before we keep going on, let's go straight to the outside of this home. The pocket doors open all the way up and they go away, guys. Love that. And here you are in your covered lanai space. You have another pocket door for the kitchen area, which we're gonna show you. There's a lot of construction, so you might hear that noise, but gotta show you, you have this large area. I love the uh, T wall here. So you have some visuals, but you also have privacy, which is very nice. Now, they added this to the home because of course it's a model home, but you can envision what you can do with the space. And I love, you know, the, the uh, hot tub with the small pool, very nice. The zero entry stairway point here. You can see you have enough space to do this in your home with these lots, so that's very nice. But Pam, I need you to show them this. And we'll see it when we go upstairs. We have what they call the balcony, well it's a balcony uh, and they call it a view deck. I call it dibs. <laughs> Very nice. Coming off the master, you can see the whole community from your back part of the home elevated, which is very nice. Love that. As we go back in, guys, we're going to go through the other pocket doors. Which also hide behind the wall. Yep. So That's these what are makes this whole great indoor outdoor. And yeah. Look at all this space. All this space here. Both sides are open. Gorgeous home. This is indoor outdoor living in Florida. A little bit too much outdoor because I'm already sweating. <laughs> but that's okay. Now look at this island. Holy smokes. Now this is an island. Look, you got your granite. This, I, uh, we didn't get to get the measurements because there is some work being done in the house. And this is, like I said before, this is a, a preliminary entry to the home. Yeah, so they gave us access to the home, but this is a gorgeous island. I mean, you can fit at least 10 people around this island easily. Yeah, I would say it's between 10 to 12 feet. Yeah. Easily. Yeah, easily. You have the deep farm sink with the lap here on the side. Love this fancy gooseneck. You know, I like the goosenecks. Yeah, no, that's very fancy. <laughs> and then uh, cabinets all along. Look at, look at how functional. All these small cabinets for your forks, dishes, all that. Your trash here. They're all soft slam. And you're missing these on this side. Yep. So it wraps around the whole island. Love that. 
Now you have here on this side your double stack, right? Coming off with your display cabinets, your double stack displays, and your regular 42 inch here, which are included with the builder. 42 inches is the base. Now you have this beautiful quartz coming across with your gas. This is a gas community, gas grill, right? And here is the vent that goes out the house. I love that it's designed like the cabinets. It gives it that extra touch that you need. Love the port windows on the side. So if you go high enough, you can see the pool. <laughs> More cabinetry up, um, below all of this stuff here. Look at this. For but the it's pans. So usable. Yeah, it's so usable. Yeah, yeah. For your deep pans, your, pot, your, your rice pots, all that stuff. Plenty of space. Brand new Samsung upgraded appliances. It has the uh, slate, no print finish. So you can put, the kids can put their hands all over this. It still looks like you just cleaned it. Again, with the double stack and the 42 inch above it. Love that little doggy drawer on the bottom. Love that. We have our pantry. Again, this is the model. So there's some materials here, but this is your pantry. It's a good size pantry. They nice. didn't cheap out. No. Love it. Love it. Again, to match the rest of the appliances in the house, slate finish on the fridge with the computer that looks in. I don't know how to do it because I'm not techie with that, <laughs> but, but that's awesome. Here's your coffee bar. I was going to say little coffee bar because they're usually like this big in every other home. Yeah. But look at this. With two more 42 inch cabinets and double stacks, no space wasted, crown molding on top. Love it. Again, you get two windows here for for uh, natural lighting that leads into our formal dining open area here. But Pam, if you could, well, I like the, this wine rack idea, that's nice. Mm -hmm. But if you can take a look this way, in between these two here, right? Mm -hmm. Look at that openness of this space. Love it, love it, very nice. Yeah, it's pure entertaining. Yeah, now guys, before we miss it, I wanna come back this way. One second, we're gonna backtrack into our front door for our flex room where I showed you the side door for. Very nice. Look how much space is in the flex room. I love the built-in that they put in here. Two windows that I showed you from the outside that let natural light in. And then we have more. We have a wine fridge here and a 42 inch cabinet with a double stack on the top that looks like it's gonna be a display case up there. They're doing some finishing touches. And again, a closet here. Very I'm nice. I'm surprised with it being a dark color. Yeah. How it doesn't feel dark. Yeah, it's gorgeous. All right, so leaving the, the uh, flex area, we come this way and head to the hallway here where we have under the stairs closet, the Harry Potter room. Nice. Yeah, it's pretty big. There's materials in there. <laughs> Pam still goes in. <laughs> Watch a step, Pam. Yes. All right. And then what I love is this a, a powder room, but it's a full bath. So if you go in, there's a shower, vanity, commode, everything you need for the downstairs space. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah. Love the hexagon tiles and the black quartz. I like the bench in the shower. Yeah, that's nice. This is your stairways leading up, and we're gonna go there in a minute. But before the stairways here, we have the linen closet. And why we have a linen closet is because Pam is gonna show you our domestic suite. Impressive domestic suite. Yeah, very nice. Very nice domestic suite. With another closet? Yes, another closet in there, another linen closet. No, it's actually the sweater closet. Okay. But you can do whatever, whatever you want. Well, yeah, cabinetry lining it up, 42 inch cabinets. It will come with wire cabinets, but then the rest is as you see it. You'll have a folding table here, a little notch out here, and your utility sink with your washer and dryer. And then you have a small drop and stop here, again with display cases and cabinetry on the bottom. And this door leads to your side garage. Now guys, we're finished with the downstairs. 
Let's go upstairs so I can show right, you guys. So here we are on the upstairs area. And as soon as you come off the stairway here, we have this gorgeous loft space here. I love the built-ins that they did. Very nice. Here's the window for natural lighting into that uh, loft space. It's set up as a craft room, but you can make a, maybe a little couch here, TV, or if you want a study area for the kids, perfect area. The TV's behind you. The TV. <laughs> See, they, they read my mind. They read my mind. There it goes. So guys, we're going to start with this side of the home. And I love this side because you come right into an ensuite. Love. I never, I've, I've seen this in only a couple homes, but like this is an extended double half step in closet. So plenty of closet space here. Love it. And here's your window for natural lighting. There's three of them, all, all lining the front of the home and the side. Very nice. Obviously the furniture fits in great in this room. You have chairs here, but this is what makes it the ensuite. The full bathroom that you can use, I love what they did with it. No, the, I all, love the way it's decorated. All the tile work, very nice. The hexagon tile on the floor. Tile in the, in the shower all the way up with the transom window. You have your little niche on the left side and a tub to soak in. But I love, this wood look is coming back. And I love that look. It's With very the, natural, that's yes. what I like about it. I love the grid subway tile, that gray, that's very nice. And that mirror, that mirror is actually cool. It's nicely. Yeah. Cool. All right, now we head out, guys. We have a busy home here today. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna head this way now. Right here we have our AC closets, so I like the little decorative doors. It's nice, it looks good, it's nice and neat. They really finished it off really neat, even though it's a utility closet. Very nice. And we move forward, and we have our first full bath here. Love the slate tile, the gray quartz with the white cabinets, always a plus. Again, with those built in mirrors, very nice. I know. <laughs> Love this full bath here. Herringbone style tile, love that, with the tub. And there's that window, of course, for natural lighting. The gray slate continues on all through this bathroom. Then we're back out to our plank tile here with another closet here, just for extra, you know, extra, extra. But it's walk-in. <laughs> yeah, it's a walk-in closet. In the hallway on top of that. Then we lead out to this bedroom here, love it. Love the plank with the, oh, around the transom window. It really gives it, really pops out. We have that half step in closet on the other side of the room, but the furniture is big in here. So this is a good size room, but that's not the kicker. This is the kicker. The smoker of the house, the guy who likes having their coffee on the balcony, that balcony I was telling you in the front of the home. Look at this. Wow factor galore, guys. Love it. Love it, gorgeous. Now we come back through. We're back in our hallway space, but we enter here, which is designed to be the kids room with the twin bunk. But again, with the extra long half step in, that whole wall is closet space. Very good job, love it. I actually like the little um, built-in library Yeah, here. floating shelves, I like that. That is nice, nice. Now, again, these, every, every room in this house has a wow factor. And this is this room's wow factor. You had a balcony in that last room. Now this leads out to the view deck. Mine. Now it makes sense to me why this is the baby's room or the kid's room. Because you have the view deck, right? You can look over to the pool area, right? Very nice, but it doesn't end there. Let me just close this door. So here's the children's room. It doesn't end there. We're gonna go into this room in reverse. Why? Because, and I think it's a great idea because check it out guys. Right into the master bedroom suite, primary bedroom suite. Love this. And that's why the kids room is there because you could just go across the balcony and or look over into the pool area if you know this you can see them from 360 
No, or you just make that your office. Yeah. You get yeah. your coffee, you walk right across the hallway, and you're in your office. Yep, both, both, both ways function really well. But look, oh my goodness, look at this primary bedroom seat. First of all, let's talk about the ceiling. I love the wood beam look. I love that, that looks great. With the integrated speakers, you have outlets for fans, but look at all the high hats here, the lights. And then you have one, two, three window with this being an extra long transom. Chase Lounge here, they did it right. Look how much furniture fits in here, Pam. No. Right? Now, before we enter in this room, I need to show you, look at the walk-in closet. Now, it's not a his and hers, but look how big it is. It's a room. You don't, you, his and hers each side of the wall, right? And then some. It's amazing. It's amazing. So guys, coming out of that closet, we entered these double doors here, right? The farm doors on each side where we were just at, at with the Chase Lounge into our primary bath suite. Look at how long the vanity is. Two sinks, I, the tile work is amazing. It's, it's just gorgeous. Yeah, look at the transom windows. Look at the tile work. Look at the, the quartz on top. Again, I love this color cabinet. I don't know why it sticks out to me. But then the grand shower with the stone on the floor, amazing. Amazing. I love the grid pattern design on the tile. Another transom window. Rain head shower. I missed that. Yep. And then behind Pam is a niche with three control sets for your three shower heads. Your rain head, your regular shower head, and your sprayer. I mean. Dibs. That's all uh, I could say, dibs. You know what we forgot? The bench. They even got a bench in here, guys. With a quartz top. Love it. Love it. Love it. What, what, I mean, where are we gonna go from here? I, I don't know. I gotta show you a closet, and I know that's lackluster. I should've <laughs> did it in reverse, but I just got so entranced with this, this, this room. Well, it's the commode, right? Like, Yay, commode. <laughs> After that uh, shower, but here's your linen closet here. And then that, again, wraps back in to your primary bedroom suite what we just showed you, and then down the hallway, past the closets and the full bath here, we end up back in our loft space, guys. That is the home. I got a couple more things to tell you, so stay tuned, but I love this home. So if you love this home, if this is the home that you and your family need in St. Cloud, 10-foot ceilings, this luxury-like home, Give us a call, 407-790-0929. Anthony Tejada, your local Orlando realtor. I'll see you guys on the next video.